All right, guys, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. It is time for my review of the Tuya Knives Hellfire. <laughs> this is the Knives Fast channel, and I'm dropping stuff. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're new around here. Stick around. Lots of fun here. Uh, this is the Jim Skelton designed Tuya Knives Hellfire. I'm just going to say it that way every time. And brimstone. Um, uh, titanium and carbon fiber. Uh, S90V. Uh, very, very, very cool. Now, uh, there's a couple things here we're going to talk about, but I like this knife overall, and I've really grown to like the ergos of it and a lot about it. Jim is really nailing it with some cool designs, and Dave Warren over at Tuya knows knives. I mean, that guy, I'm going to lower this just a little bit. There we go. That guy just really knows what he's doing. There, I feel better about that now uh, with knives. So I'm really happy with a lot of the two. Yeah, you guys know I love my Shocker uh, and a lot of the newer two you knives. And this one is pretty cool as well. All right, let's hush up and talk about this knife. This is uh, Contoured Titanium. Woohoo! Uh, you do. Uh, with these carbon fiber inlays, you do kind of sort of feel the transitions, but they're not they're not worrisome at all. They're smooth. You just, they kind of stick up on this side. There is no inlays on this side. Uh, there you have your Skelton Blade Works logo. You have a um, titanium clip with about that much sticking out of the pocket right there. Uh, no reverse and no lanyard love. You have a long, I mean, pretty much... Uh, two thirds of the way up, you have a very long uh, backspacer that actually stands proud. Um, interesting. You have uh, satin hardware. Uh, again, titanium clip. Good in and out of the pockets. Good ramp. No issues. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, now you have a kind of curved cleaver blade here. You ready for this? Bam! Uh, really nice. <laughs> Uh, really crack myself up really nice fuller guys i like the fuller gives me and by the way look at the finish on this blade beautiful um two different grinds they're kind of a compound flat which is interesting double flat ground uh blade there and in satin and then you have um so that's vertical satin you have horizontal satin and then like what looks like bead blasted inside the fuller so really good s90v to your logo there and uh, that's it that's our billboarding for this one now um you know again really love the detent with the flick it is good uh you know what i just asked myself a question let's see i'm not even sure can i thumb flick it out here oh yeah okay uh good detent you can see not shaking out um, now let's get to my couple of my nitpicks and they're all going to happen right up here. Okay. Uh, there's two nitpicks and they both involve the flipper tab, but I don't care because I have a great fuller to middle finger flick that sucker out, suck out there. Okay. Suck out, uh, for show. Sure. Uh, there you go, Jay. Um, anyway, you do have, um, okay. What I think they intended was for me to do a push button. They give me a slot here to kind of get my finger down in and to push it down. Uh, and that's where you're jimping. There's no jimping on the front of the flipper tab, just that. So what they want me to do is push button. Does it work? Yes. Does it have a Thor tie? No. Um, that is not the way I want to flick this knife. I want to flick this knife like this. Now, I will tell you, uh, I don't have to have the jimping. If there was just one jimp right there, right at the front of that tab, and again, flick this guy by pulling it back. What happens, though, is a lot of people, including me when I first got the knife, you're going to pull back like this. And this right here is sharp. Um right there the edges can you hear that let's see let's get it up here by the mic that right there is absolutely sharp and so when i pulled it the first few times and didn't realize i needed to light switch it back and up like this i pulled it back like this i ripped my finger not tore it open or cut it or anything just did not feel good so that's my nitpick two nitpicks in one Jimping right here and smooth out those edges 
of that chamfer. That is not great. Now, as far as your lock bar access, pretty good, and you do have a chamfer there. No problem whatsoever. Now, your, um, your uh, detent is a little late, as you can see. So you kind of got to choke down on the flipper tab. I mean, excuse me, on the lock bar, so that when that flipper tab comes down and hits you, you're past the detent, okay? Uh, it's not a big deal. You just got to bear it in mind. Now, you do end up with a guard there with your flipper tab. Uh, you do have a very nice sharpening choil. should give you, I mean, again, your plunge is close, but you should get several sharpenings with no problem. By the way, great jimping right here. You can do this, too, for a pinch, but for me, this is the spot. Uh, very, very nice. Now, lockup is 30-ish, 25-30. Um, we are centered. Um, the blade comes out there really close to the end. You do have a, uh, a kind of scooped out spot in the back spacer. Looks really cool. When we are locked up, yeah, no blade player lock rock. Nothing. Just absolutely great. All right, where's a piece of cardboard? Here we go. All right, so I did it again. I just did it. All right, so again, it's just out of habit, guys. I, I go back and I come across that edge, and that does not feel good. I got to remember, I'm just literally, if this were my knife, I would just middle finger flick it all the time. All right, let's see how we do here. All right, first cut was my problem. Um, but yeah, you can see, this guy is a slicey beast. Now, I'm not completely sure I understand the purpose of this one being double flat like that compound. It's not hurting anything though. You can see I'm mowing through the material. It is more thin here and a little more um, wedgy back here, but it, it, they're thin enough. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, I think it may be just for looks. And in that case, good on them. That's that I have zero problem with that whatsoever. Now, I am going to read this one off of White Mountain Knives because they are available there. And I like to give you guys a discount code. So this is White Mountain Knives, $279, 10% off. Uh, that's a pretty big cut. Like what? Two, uh, uh, tw was that $27? Is that right? Am I doing that right? Anyway, 10% of $279, whatever the math is. I, I failed math. Somehow I still got through college. Uh, tutors, thank you. No, I'm kidding. Um, 279 and again, you get that 10% off. Now, the blade length is 3.5. Is that really all the specs you're going to give me here? All right, we're going to leave because uh, White Mountain only has that little bit. So let's go over here. All right, specs. All right, so we're 7.8 inches overall, 3.3 inch blade length, um, 0.12 on the blade thickness. It is a compound cleaver. Um, with S90V, 5.2 ounces, designed by Skelton Blade Works, Jim Skelton, handle thickness, 0.48. Um, I'm liking this knife overall. Again, there's just a few things to bear in mind. There is your Ontario Rat 1, and here is your Ontario Rat 2. For your comparisons, uh, lengthwise, guys, it's not much longer uh, than the uh, Rat 2 there, which is really interesting. But we do get a very nice four-finger grip. And guys, I'm telling you, ergos-wise, when I'm right here, this feels awesome. Uh, no real hot spots. You feel the clip. I wouldn't call it a hot spot. But yeah, I like this knife a lot. And that says a lot because I did have a couple of nitpicks there. Um, but yeah, 279 at White Mountain. 10% off with code knives fast. So what do you guys think? Uh, Jim, Jim did it again. Uh, I'm waiting for the Hellfire uh, full size um, or the XL. <laughs> that will be awesome. I, I picture a, a more swoopy uh, artisan proponent, uh, which is awesome. I will take it. So guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.